Hey, what's happening everyone? So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Walmart exclusive Echo Mercenary Gear from season two of The Bad Batch. So Echo had just a tremendous story arc in the Clone Wars. I like him in The Bad Batch. Now his season two outfit is very similar to season one, but I am digging these new colors. And of course this comes in the plastic free galaxy packaging, Star Wars The Black Series up top. Here we have a render of Echo, looks pretty good. Star Wars The Bad Batch and Echo Mercenary Gear. On this side of the box, you got a picture of what's inside. So you get Echo. He stands at six inches tall, comes with a backpack, a DC-17 blaster pistol. That's very, It's there, trust me. His helmet, plastic-free packaging. There's the sign with the artwork. Very cool picture. A little shot of the Marauder in the background. Love it. There's nothing on the top. Bottom is the barcode, tiny print, and logos. And there's the back of the box. Same render as the front. you got a short bio in several different languages. Echo's number 17 in this Bad Batch line, and you got some more small print down there. And I'll just read the bio real quick. It just says, Former ARC Trooper Echo's knowledge of proper military tactics and his strategy provides valuable insight, while his socket arm and cybernetic implants give him the unique ability to interact with computer systems. All right, I'm going to get Echo open, and let's take a look at him. Okay, so here is Echo in his mercenary gear out of the box, and let's take a good look at him. We'll start up top, and I can safely say this face is much better than the original. The eyes are better. I think the mouth looks a little better. I like the skin tone. And I'm so glad they put a little yellow on this cybernetic implant. That's nice. That was, that was lacking on the first version. That is nice to see. Now, these little studs here, whatever they are, little bolts, are gold on this one, where on the original, they're silver. Well, in Season 2 of The Bad Batch, these were kind of a gold color. And in Season 1, they were more silver, so I am totally fine with these being gold. Okay, it's pretty accurate. I think they look good. Um, seems, like, seems like in the show there was like another one here. I don't know. I'm, I'm fine with it overall. I think it looks good. The back of the, the uh, cybernetic implant looks great. You know, it's just like the other one. Same head. But I'm so glad they put a little yellow there. But from the neck up, super happy with this one. And from the neck down, we do have some new bits, but there's also a lot of reuse, but I am totally fine with it. But these colors up here just look so cool. So his neck, so we can safely call Echo a redneck, <laughs> but I love it. it. It stands out. Then on his chest, you have this orange, light gray, lighter orange, dark gray, then back to this orange. Got some red in there. Very cool. So the shoulder pads on this Echo are different, okay? These have this little step off there. Very cool, got this nice orange or dark gray, or light gray on this one. This one's all dark gray. And then this sleeve looks good, this Van Brace, loving this orange. Red glove, little armor plate there. And then the scomp link, they put up a little touch of orange there. My scomp link's a little bit bent, just a little bit. That's unfortunate. It's going to go near, it's going to slowly bend back. I may have to heat that up or do something with it, uh, but it looks nice. It's just like the other one. Love it. The belt is new on this one, okay, just this part of the belt. The buckle looks good. These pouches are smoother on this one. That's what the back looks like. you got a cool texture going on there. Loving that. Got this little thermal detonator there, some more pouches. These pouches are the same, but the comma is different, okay? you got all this going on down here on this comma. It looks fantastic. I'm loving this orange stripe around the outside of it. Super cool. And the crotch and belly, I think, are the same. Legs are pretty much the same, but the knees are different. These are more like standard clone knees, shins, and feet. Yeah, the two-tone paint on the feet is just cool. I just love that. Love it. So from top to bottom, I would say this is a great-looking figure. I know not everyone likes the Season 2 look because of the colors. I don't know, the colors do it for me. I think it looks fantastic. And if you want to compare season one and season two, so at the time, I thought this was fine. And it does look good. But seeing this now, pff, it's a vast improvement. The eyes are so much better. I think the mouth looks a little better. Skin tone's a little bit better. And of course, they put the yellow on the new one, on his little cybernetic implant. It is not on the original. And the little bumps on his head are silver on the first one, gold on this one. Same neck, same chest, same belly, a different belt. The pouches on the comma are the same, but the commas are different. Okay, you got all this going on down there. Same arms. Yeah, same arms. But it is just incredible what paint can do. It really makes them look different, but they're not. 
And then legs, pretty sure it's the same thighs. Crotch, yeah, same crotch. Let me see, does it have that little scuff there? Come on, focus. Yeah, that scratch is there. So same crotch, same belly, same thighs probably. The knees are different, right? Because on the original, I had these little discs there on the outside, yeah, which I like. And they're just standard clone knees on the new one. Pretty sure it's the same shins and same feet. So there are a few new bits. I'm loving the new belt. But, I mean, I, I love the first one. But, man, these colors just look so cool. And I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on articulation, but it does have some side to side, a little bit of down, some great up, some very good tilt. Arms go up, so the shoulder pads are glued at the bottom, so they will just ride up and over the chest armor. Okay, that's pretty good. Scomp length side, you get just um, just a little bit past 90, and that one can, can hyperextend all the way to there. On the left side, you get past 90, which is great. Swivel, and a swivel at the wrist. Side to side hinge on the left hand. That's okay. Some pretty good twist, a little bit of crunch, some very good back, and some very good side to side. Now, the comma is pretty stiff, but if you rotate the legs out, they can get up to there, which is pretty good. So swivel at the thigh, swivel at the knee. The knees get all the way up to there, which is very good. Feet go down that far, they go up that much, and you do have some swivel at the ankle. So being virtually the same figure, same body, the articulation is just like the other one, and I think it's great. And as far as accessories, I've actually had this thing holstered the whole time. Here's his DC-17 blaster pistol, and it looks just like the other ones we've seen. Maybe a slightly lighter gray color. I mean, it's still pretty dark, but I think it's a little bit lighter than the other ones we've seen. It looks fine. It looks just like it's supposed to look. There's the flip side. Yeah, it's a cool pistol. I like it. And if you want Echo to hold this blaster correctly, you kind of have to give him a trigger finger because right out of the box, it's just a gripping hand and it just doesn't look natural. So I do this with just about every figure that can hold a blaster in the left hand. You know, they either dual wields or in his case, left-handed. I gave him a trigger finger and that looks so much better. I thought that was kind of kind of interesting. The hand is actually cast in a gray plastic and then painted red. So when I split it, you can see, you can see the gray showing through but it's totally fine, but he holds it much more naturally. And I think he looks good. You want him just kind of straight out firing like that with the arm extended, it's a nice look. And because these elbows are very good, you can pose him like he's drawing, and that's a very nice look. And I failed to mention earlier, I mean, y'all probably know this already, but if you're new to this figure, he's got some excellent butterfly joints. That's awesome, but um, I think this looks good. So now that he has a trigger finger, he holds this blaster very well, but I think I'm just gonna holster this thing for now. And let's take a look at his backpack. So this is the same backpack as the other one, but the orange on this one is so nice. You have this lighter orange and a slightly darker orange up here. You got some paint in there. Very cool sculpt. Now it is on this little teeny tiny peg, but it's got this cutout, so it doesn't rotate. But it's a cool backpack. And just to compare the two real quick, you can see it is the same backpack, just a different paint job. But this orange just stands out so well. And this will just peg in there and the fact that it's got that cut out it can't rotate but it can pivot just a little bit but once it's on it's extremely stable and i love the look of that and next up we have his helmet and i do love the look of this the visor looks nice a little bit of red there got this white stripe up the middle got this going on there same helmet as last time but it looks great love this the slightly lighter gray there looks really good some gray there, some almost like reflective silver there. That's pretty cool. Same thing on this side. Yeah, super cool helmet. And if you want to compare the two, you can see it's the same helmet, just different paint. And again, it is amazing what paint can do, but I am loving this new one. And if you want to put this on him, it goes on just like the other one. It's a little tricky. You have to make sure that this part of the helmet is completely flush with his little cybernetic implant. It's got to sit all the way down, all the way down. Uh, to where there's not much of a gap there at all. And then that will allow you to peg it together right there. There we go. Perfect. And I'm loving the look of that. All right, let's put his backpack on like so. And there's that. I think I'll just have him just kind of standing, just standing there for now, for now. Super cool figure. I'm going to go put him on the shelf and let's see what he looks like there. Wait, actually, I'm going to have him like this just cradling the helmet and saluting. That's a nice look. 
Now let's go stick him on the shelf. And here we are, and I like it. The, those colors just look so good. So I guess Omega will go right here. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna put Echo in the back and move Tech up front, because I am loving this Tech. You know, the fact that you can see his eyes now. But just for now, I think this looks good. Still have to do a review on Wrecker. But man, these four just stand out. Those colors are so good. Very happy with these. So bottom line, I think it's a very cool looking figure. I mean, it's pretty much just like the other one, but this face is so much better, especially those eyes. I mean, they did such a good job on these eyes. I think the mouth looks good, skin tone. Everything about it from the neck up is just so much better this time around. The armor, I'm just loving these colors. They just pop on the shelf. Even this red glove, especially the red glove. It's like, hello. Yeah, that's nice. The scomp link, even though it's bent, still looks fine. He holds the weapon well. Backpack, super cool. I'm loving that orange Yeah, from head to toe. Great looking figure, but I want to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of Echo in his mercenary gear from season two of The Bad Batch. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget to turn on notifications. I would certainly appreciate it. And I just thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time.